Hey everybody, Chris here. So here's my tools that I used for manipulating the strings. Uh, this one I use for uh, pushing down the string, massaging it and pushing it down. This one I use for lifting. And this one, the uh, brass screwdriver, I use for like sliding strings over and straightening them out, like under the capo. Uh, this one is for pulling, usually in front of the bridge pins. And this one is also for like on top of the bridge for just like lightly tapping them down if they're rising up. So the string hook... This one I uh, was kind of reluctant to make because, you know, it's brass and you got to put a little hook down there. And uh, so I didn't know if at the first if it would last. And but it's uh, surprised me. It's done quite well. And uh, a neat little benefit is that when you make this tool out of brass is that it slides, uh, as I demonstrated in the front of the video, that it slides really nice on the steel. And it feels nice and smooth, and doesn't doesn't squeak, you know, when you run like when you rub steel on steel. So, anyways, for just some lifting, you know, like uh, that I was showing you the massaging, and then uh, right in front of the agraph, just a little bit of lifting to straighten out the strings. Uh, this is, works real well. How I made this is uh, all these tools. As I just use a uh, like these two, I just use um, my little grinder with a cutoff blade on it, and uh, and uh, shape things so that one that one's just a little slot cut on the end of a rod that's a quarter inch rod i believe and then this one uh, was the tricky one to make of course uh, you had to kind of like feel like you're a sculptor so the key thing is to get this to where it'll fit between the strings and uh, not take off too much where you really weaken it so this has been working out quite well the uh, diameter of this rod is 0.31. It uh, just happened to be a rod that I had laying around. So you probably could also get a 3 8 So anyways, uh, and the handle. The handle is some Osage Orange I had laying around. I tend to use that a lot these days. Uh, normally when you pound a handle onto something... You want to have it uh, supported on the bottom, but in this case, I didn't want to bend the hook. So what I did is I just put this in a vise and made that hole the same diameter as the rod so that it uh, tapped on real super easy. And then I ran a pin through there. And then I just put some shellac on it, yeah, a couple coats of shellac, and then I uh, steel wooled it and waxed it. So super nice tool. I love this tool. All right. Thanks for watching.